external quantum efficiency is the ratio of the number of charge carriers collected by the solar cell to the number of incident photons shining on the particular solar cell from outside. The EQV measurement consists of three major units such as monochromator, light source and a calibrated photodiode. The computer controlled monochromator consists of chopper and a filter wheel in order to allow very tiny beam of a light from the light source through the monochromator. The EQE of a PV diode or solar cell is measured with the performance of reference calibrated photodiode. EQV spectra helps to study the individual spectral response corresponds to the wavelength which shining on the solar cell. This is our light source and it was operated with 50 watt DC power supply. First of all, we need to initialize the monochromator in order to set the wavelength position to zero. At this moment, monochromator shows an error of 4 nanometer, therefore we made an error calibration in order to read this position as 0. This is how the overall spectra of a light beam varying its color from 300 nanometer to 800 nanometer. However, we are going to use a very tiny spot of light beam for our measurements. For example, when we set the wavelength position to 540 nanometer through the PC, then the monochromator runs as like this. Here you can see how a small white spotlight become a green spot. Our experimental setup is now ready for measure the diode current in dark environment. By varying the wavelengths, we can measure the current through the source meter. For example, when we set the wavelength position to 570 nanometer then 0.313 3 micro ampere of current this is our solar cell it consists of six individual cells we place our solar cell into the sample holder this sample holder connected with a switch box in order to make individual contacts with the each six cells. Now we need to place the sample holder at the position where we placed the calibrated photodiode. 
This table contains the EQV values of photodiode which corresponds to the every wavelength from 190 nanometer to 1100 nanometer. The EQV spectra of calibrated photodiode is shown in this figure. The measured diode current and the device current were listed in this table. Obviously, we knew the EQV values of photodiode corresponds to every wavelength. With this data, we can calculate the individual EQE of the device corresponding to every wavelength. Finally, we can summarize all the individual EQV values in order to form EQV spectra against the wavelength. Especially, the light shining surface area and the intensity of light should be kept same for both the device and photodiode during the experiment in order to have proper result.